In this video, we're going to be showing you how to make some magical solar-powered lights. They're quick to make, cost less than $3 a piece, and they're a decoration that can really give your party a magical pop. To get started making these magical outdoor solar lights, there's three main things that you need to grab. One is some small mason jars, the second is some solar stake lights, and the third is some clear cellophane plastic. Here's the basic idea. A solar stake light will be dismantled and some of the important pieces will be glued to the inside of a mason jar and its lid. Some crumpled colored cellophane will be added to give the lights a magical, otherworldly effect. Decorative elements can then be added to the lid to give your lights a bit more style. Little mason jars are available lots of places, and I got these specific ones at Hobby Lobby because I really like the short design and the square sides that it has. There are also multiple different sizes of lids, and you want to make sure that you have the ones that fit nicely with your solar lights. These little stake lights cost a dollar. They have a stake at the bottom, and you can stab them into the ground, making a nice lining for your path. Well, we're not going to be using all of the equipment, and certainly not the stakes, but we are going to disassemble these for parts. These solar stakes are fairly easy to disassemble. And the only tool we're going to need to get all of the parts that we need is a simple Phillips head screwdriver. These right here are the two pieces that we're going for. This has a solar panel, a sensor to see how much light there is, and on the bottom there's an LED bulb. This tag here on the side prevents the battery from connecting to the bulb while it's still in the store, but once we pull that out, it should light up when we've got the solar panel blocked off. It's a pretty straightforward design. The solar panel on top charges a 1.2 volt battery inside, and there's an ambient light detector in the lid, so that when it's too dark, the light turns on automatically. We want these two pieces, and the rest of the stake can be discarded. This shiny little piece sits down below the light bulb, and it's a reflector to make sure you get the most out of your one LED bulb. With the mason jars, I talked about the lid fitting onto the top of the lantern, and if you have the right size, you'll have an incredibly close fit that barely has any space on the sides. The inner lid of our mason jar, like the rest of the stake, can be discarded. Once we've got these four pieces separated, it's time to use a hot glue gun to start assembling them. The small chrome piece is still going to be a reflector the same way it was before, just in a different place. We want to glue this onto the center bottom of our mason jar. Next, we want to take the top portion of the lantern, fit it just slightly inside the mason jar lid, and then glue it in place. If you need to, you can glue it from the outside, but it's going to look a little sloppy. So I really like to try and get all of the glue on the interior of the lid. It's daylight out here, so it's pretty hard to see how much it does or does not light up. Let's put this jar inside of a darkened box so we can get a better sense for it. The white light and unobscured walls of the glass means we are still losing a fair amount of the light out the sides. To keep it more visible and, of course, to add a little bit of sparkly, magical-looking color, that's where the cellophane comes in. This whole roll, which has quite a bit on it, was only about $2, and we're not going to be using anywhere near a whole roll. Not even the tenth, probably. We want to cut a piece of cellophane and wrinkle it in sort of a circle around the reflector. We don't want to obscure the path of light from the LED down to the reflector at the bottom, but we want all the way around the sides to be covered in our cellophane. Now this piece is maybe eight inches tall and a little over a foot wide. It's not necessarily gonna matter exactly what size you get, but I'm just kinda gonna crumple this up and then push it into the jar in sort of a loop around the reflector at the bottom. With the cellophane added, we can now screw the lantern light lid down onto the jar. The cellophane comes in several different colors, and if you aren't a big fan of the look of a mason jar, especially with its gold or silver lid, there's plenty of ways you can decorate those. Ribbon, twine, or paint all work great.
By combining colors of cellophane, you can get some interesting blends that look even more exotic. Guys, that's not all. We've got more for you to see. That box up at the top will transport you directly to our last video and you should go check that out. The box at the bottom will show you what YouTube thinks you need to be watching next. And this bomb in the middle will subscribe you to the channel. That way you never miss out on a video. Don't forget to ring that bell and we'll see you in the next one. Talk to you then.